Hey there, hi there, hold there, fire familia. Welcome to another reaction. In this one, I'm going to be reacting to The Dragon Prince Season 4, Episode 5, The Great Gates. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. The Great Gates. Hmm. The Great Gates. Me. The Great Gates. Maybe Erevos' prison? Or Earth Blood Kingdom? Mm. We loved him dearly. He was here for. Four episodes? Maybe it had. Three minutes of screen time? I'm sorry. I, I wish I was more attached to the character. Like, I was starting to with, like, um, mainly when he was, like, trying to feed vegetables. So, like,. Uh, I was about to say Asimondius, even though I know that's Zim's name. <laughs> I'm so used to calling him Zim, but I'm now, like, switching over to Asimondius. Um, but, like, that, I was just starting to, like, get attached to him. So, it's like, well, I'm like, it's more like, aw, I wish we had had, like, a few more episodes with him in it. But for me to, like, care more? <laughs> I know it sounds, like, mean or cold, but I don't know. I just didn't get that attached to him. So, his death on was kind of like, well, that's a shame. Would have liked to have known him more, but moving on. <laughs> I'm surprised Zubay. Okay, Zubay is Zim's mom, right? Um, especially since uh, Ezrin said dracon draconic words. So I I'm surprised that Zubay is not there. I mean, granted, she's a big dragon, and I don't think she could stand on the mountaintop. But you would think at least she'd be like, I don't know, hovering in the background or something to observe this. That, or she has more important business to take care of. Did he just become the wind? Okay, when I die, can I have that happen to me? I want to become a bunch of little birds. Oh, there she is. Last time I was here, I leapt to my certain death. And he leapt after you. You know, when you both had trust. I feel like Callum might bring that up or might make some kind of comment. Are these two gonna finally talk? Or Callum is gonna you talk? Spread your wings, and you saved me. I don't want to save you now. Just. Kidding. I don't think he would go that far. Are you okay? Not no. really. Do I seem okay to you? <laughs> Are these tears of joy? Do you want to talk? Hug it out. Ding, ding, ding. You know, I love you, Soren, but right now I actually want to literally throw you off the mountain. I just got this crazy feeling like this has happened before. Do you also get the feeling that there is someone else, like, giving you glares from beyond your fourth wall? She angry. And she's picking up where he left off. Plus, you think he's dead? Uh. <laughs> then we have to find <laughs> That's like, if a Scooby-Doo, it's like pointing out all these clues and they're like, Wow, how did you deduce that? And it's like... That's evidence right there. <laughs> How? I spent every moment of the last two years of my life hunting for her, and I failed. We don't know where. Well, no offense, but uh, <laughs> I'm better than you. That each of the arch dragons had a piece of the puzzle. Does this mean we're going to get to see all each arch dragon? With their help, could we solve it before Claudia does? <sighs> Perhaps. If they yes. give it. Ignis, the arch dragon of Earth. He made. Oh, are, so are we going to Earth Kingdom with the Earth Blood? No uh, I was about to say gnomes. <laughs> Earth Blood Elves. I will not lose you again. And he is still young. <laughs> Who's that? Oh, this is that frickin' butt whatever thing that came out of the chrysalis. But look at this Eve. Don't you dare lick it! I swear to God, Terry, if you lick that, it's liquid. Bust viscosity. Slime. Behold the messenger of Erevos. Guide us. Please tell me this thing just goes <laughs> or makes some kind of like un uneloquent like noise or something. Direct us to our destiny. Or spit on him. Please. Spit on him. Listening. Please spit on him. Throw up on him. 
do something like that. I love you. Spit. Spit. Thank you. <laughs> Maybe it wants us to name it. How about... Slimy? Sparkle Puff. Does not deserve a name as undignified as Sparkle Puff. Why not? Call them Sparkle Wings? Too bad his kin doesn't like shimmer, then I call him Edward. <laughs> um, I don't know. He's like a butterfly gremlin golem? Hmm. Bullum? For butterfly golem? I don't know. See? It likes it. I don't think it cares. You can shorten it to just SP. Or SSP. Humans, elves, dragons? We're a dragang! <laughs> dragang? Oh my god. Then the young king is in good hands. Wow. Uh, thank you. Uh, You're gonna make me blush. So nice. Dragons are so nice. Hmm, we haven't you haven't met Sol Regum yet, and hmm, are all our dragons gonna be as nice as Zubeya? Now, now. Things got well heated. Heated, mm -hmm. and one of the human civilians was injured. Was to help set. You know, I do really appreciate like the only time, only other time. Okay, I don't have much experience when it comes to like animations and stuff, so I'm probably wrong about this. Uh, but at least for me. I have only seen one other show do sign language, like actually not like translating it and then that's it. Like not the full on like animating the hand signs and everything. The only other show I've seen do that was a uh, hell of a boss. Um, and now this show and this show goes beyond because Amaya is like one of the main side characters that we see pretty often. Um, and it's not just a couple words or a few words. It's like full-on conversations she has with like Ren and others and stuff. So being it, seeing it like I think that's a that's a great thing to see that that representation because you don't I, I haven't really seen it like at all like only two shows in my thirty one years of living I've only seen two uh, actually even like live action I can't really think of any of them that have really done that like maybe like you have like a guest character or like a character as a guest for like an episode or two that may be like that, but not a main side character. So it's cool to see. <laughs> Cause I actually find s sign language to be really impressive. Like remembering all these movements and s gestures and I may have just said something bad. Uh, I, don't, I think something like this is like, thank you or something, I don't remember. But like that impresses me like to, <laughs> to have all these different ways of speaking just with your hands is like amazing to me. Surely things will calm down now, right? Right? <laughs> right? Hmm. I just want to see dragon design. So is there going to be like an elf guard there too? Knock, not knock. Sure anybody at home? Anyone's... Don't get crushed by rocks! Oh. Is the door the freaking dragon? Oh no, they're golems. Uh, hey, can you call off your guards? We're here in peace. We are the guardians of the gates of Umber Tor. Hey, I'll take them over freaking el uh, elf guard. <laughs> guardians is a bit much, don't you think? We're more like doormen. Of course, of course you're going to have the one that's like that. <laughs> Maybe try back next century. Next century? Hey, I know you guys are just trying to do your job, but- I am the Dragon Queen! Open the doors, or I will reduce you to pebbles! Okay. <laughs> All we were missing there was a- <sighs> And like, blowing out smoke. Makes sense. Mm-hmm. Zubaya's not having it. Okay, you know what? I know, like, we have nicknames. How come nobody's nicknamed Zubaya Zub Zub? <laughs> I think that'd be a cute nickname. Or Zuby. Hasn't been- I think it hasn't been open in this century, more like. That's a lot of dust. 
Watch him, like, just be sleeping, and he's just on a long nap. Uh, it's blocked. Oh. 80 years ago. <laughs> 80? Well, I did say a century. Why is this thing just constantly producing the- Please stop. Touch of dirt. Don't you dare eat it. Don't you dare eat it, I swear. Hmm, not too sticky. Play with it. Ooh. Is, is he making slime? You're perfect. You're perfect. <laughs> That's that's like that's like with any like for me like a ship or something that's just got two great characters. It's just like you're perfect, <laughs> and you will get together. <laughs> oh. Are we playing charades? I think he might be trying to say something. Vera's face. You know, I can't get enough of Vera's expressions this season. Just like between the like, I'm done looks and the. <laughs> Hands. Inane gestures. People who don't understand sign language and have no experience with it, so they just call it. Ins <laughs> what do you call it? Uh, how can anyone expect to make sense of these inane gestures? There you go. Swimming, water. Swimming, doorway, gateway. Surprise. That's complete nonsense. Hide? No, maybe. Gateway or something? Maybe like surprise, open, gateway, underwater? No. Okay, the spinning one I don't understand. Well, I think Dance? Lizard in a hat. Lizard in a hat. Well. Did I get Maybe it's a side quest? <laughs> Edit? No. Soren, are you. Secret entrance? Why did you not tell us sooner? You've been stalling us this whole time! More regular size. Human size. We may be tiny, and also- We may be tiny, but we're miny. <laughs> Within the uncharted forest. Sounds fun. Do you have a set of directions, or- GPS? Well, it is the uncharted forest. Right. Did you not hear me? <laughs> Choose your words carefully. Uh, I don't know. Would you have ch chosen your words carefully, Zubaya? Because you seem very, like, with, uh, well, me. Well, that was for the doorman, so. Oh, I'm sorry. I mean, guards. And you'll probably die. We'll be fine. Thank you very we much. We have a way with grumpy monsters. <laughs> Soul Oh. Bae, I think we're also talking about you, too. Wait, if you're going back to the mount, how are they supposed to get back? Shouldn't you, like, wait for them to come back so they can fly him back? Isn't that like a long journey back to the Sperm Spire? We're trying to communicate. Draw, maybe, instead? Look, it's drawing something now. Like that other party game. Picturama. Picturama. I'm beginning to think Erevos is toying with us. Oh, he's been toying with you for a while already. Wizard Snake? Yeah. Woo. <laughs> no. That's a... Snake? It's a... Mountain snake? Dragon. Oh, the mountain's supposed to be the wing. Breathe it in, everyone. You smell that? Please tell me he smells the flashy lily. Adventure? Come on. Let's get our You don't sense the vibe between the two of them right now? Excuse me for trying to put a little pep in our step. Why was that so fruity the way he just went pep in our step? <laughs> Also, what happened? Matt Callum really is stiff over this whole thing with Rayla, because like usually he's the one kind of goofing off his stuff, sort of not as much as as uh, Soren, but like more than he is right now. No, get down! Hey, what? What creature? What new creature? Oh, hello, <gasps> Earth Blood Gnome. Uh, why do I keep saying Earth Blood Gnome? Earth Blood Elf. <laughs> And then throwing them into a hole called the Pit of Despair. What a name. You can't just go off alone. Okay, fine. <laughs> even, uh, even Stella agrees. Callum and I will go look for the end. All right, that's a good idea. Was Are you trying to get you two alone so you could talk? No, I'll stay with Ezrin. <laughs> Man, he really doesn't want to be near Rayla. Or doesn't want, yeah, doesn't want to be alone with her. Soren, you go with Rayla. Calm, I'm gonna. Adventure, right? Oh, yeah. Um, uh, why are you torturing me? <laughs> this, please, Calum, talk to her. Good luck, Rayla. 
Oh, I, Rayla is being so much more patient and stuff with this. I think I'd be like, you know what? I understand that I left you with just a letter after we said we would handle this together, but we need to talk. Like, this is getting rid <laughs> I'm getting annoyed. Begin. <laughs> Rayla's face. She wanted Callum, though. Ezra, and talk to your brother. It's like that episode, uh, what is it? I forgot which episode it was. I, it was in season one when Callum... Was Callum? No, Callum was talking to, a. Uh, uh, was it Aya? Uh, the one with the wolf. He was talking to her and she gave him advice. Yeah, because Ezrin was with Rayla. And they both, like, Ezrin gave advice for Rayla and then, um, Wolf Girl gave advice for Callum. We need her again. We're putting out a candle. A candle? Bish. I'm the one who was injured. This is, like, someone who, like, I don't know. Would this be considered a Karen or something where it reminds me of someone who, like, would cause the tr the accident or something like that? And it goes, well, what about me? I got hurt. And it's like, but you caused the accident. It wouldn't have happened in the first place if you hadn't done, hadn't caused the accident. I worked my you were a part of it. Off. Sit. What's going to happen to me then? Die. <laughs> I'm kidding. Queen Janai will decide. Beheaded. <laughs> Please, I would love it if Janai would joke with that, even though I don't think she will. But I feel like I would be the kind of queen who would joke and be like, beheading, and then be like, I'm joking, no. Things are tense. Mm. End of the world and all that. Not that, Rayla. I meant with you and Callum. Mm -hmm. Nope, we're not talking about this. Why not? Please do. Look. The heart do what it do, or don't what it don't. You know, I'm gonna say those are very wise words, but at the same time, they're so... I don't know. The way he words it just <laughs> sounds so silly. Soren, what the... <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> is this how you guys Watch capture it? The... This is how it's done. More Ozzy elves. We can't risk being seen. I hate it too, but we have to keep moving. Let's go. So they're more like almost like the settlers with the horses kind of thing. They're more instead of like, I don't know, like Native Americans, where Native Americans are much more work with the horse and bond with the horse to tame them. Whereas Earthblood elves seem more like the settlers where it's will break you into submission. There's too much at stake. I'm leaving. Yeah, is that going to be the case if if uh, Callum ends up in that similar situation? Are you going to say, well, what's one person? Oh, well. Um, I think we've got enough firewood, Callum. Huh? He's absentmindedly just getting... Please, Ezra, and talk to your brother. We got to stay alert. We, we we don't know what's out there. Nothing right now? Just crickets. Mm -hmm. But don't worry. They told me they're not the ambushing type. Huh? <laughs> I'm talking about Erevos. You know, when he took over my whole body and used me like a puppet? Oh, uh, oh, right. Okay. Wait, we were all assuming that it was Rayla. And when she came back, I was so happy, but so mad at the same time. I Communicate wish I could that. Just her. But you figured that out, didn't you? <sighs> yeah. Uh huh. Somehow relationships seem harder. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they can be. Did they just laugh? Soren's not gonna take this line down. Or not lying down, but he's not going to stay quiet. And you're the first villain in my adventure. <sighs> this guy almost looks like a ram. Is he even an earth? I just realized he looks more like a ram than an earth blood elf. Because elves have more like... I haven't seen any with horns like this. So I wonder, is he even an elf? Or is he like a mm, different... He's got the Aussie accent, but maybe that's just the Earth Blood, like this area. Release Soren. Oh. Is the dragon gonna help Soren? Rayla gonna help? Come on, Rayla. This fabulous oh. Jeez. Ooh, I completely forgot you were here. Sorry, your dad will be okay. He's just a little knocked out. Uh. You should run or fly. Easy now. 
I told you to run. Ooh, that's not good. Ow. Wasn't a lizard in a hat? Is he eating it? He is leading us to uh, Well, at least he didn't pull a golem and do like the smooth <laughs> So I if they ever make her you know what we've already had a couple like Lord or a few Lord of the Ring references. Actually, this thing on its own maybe just a golem reference. So uh, uh, like I'm waiting for more on the nose stuff, but maybe not. And so did I. Your slime pet. Goofy goo. Goofy goo. That's actually not a bad name. Well, I guess Sparkle Puff approves. Where's Soren? They're gonna get upset if they go, Where's Soren? She goes, I left him back there. <laughs> like, that is not Rayla. He's probably late because he's stuck thinking of a rhyme for legendary heroics. Bredendary? Bredendary? Er Never mind, I was about to say erotics, but that <laughs> sounds weird. Into the pit of despair he goes. He's gonna befriend whatever this thing is that's in here. Uh -huh. Oh. Are you... Is that the one they... It, they captured us now that he was trying to help? Okay, if it is, I call it that it's gonna... Like, they're gonna help each other. Yeah, okay, it is. Friends, can we just be friends? And you can both work your way and get out of there. Really? Of course, they had to give Sir Sparkle Puff <laughs> a dignified outfit, a dapper outfit. Oh my God, not a not a uh, flubber reference, no way! Oh my God, they did a flubber reference. <laughs> Court jester Soren. The crystal stuff that they use to blind and capture Soren and the other dragon. The lizard with the hat. Okay. <laughs> and really, is that supposed to be a rock puppet instead of a sock puppet or something? All right. Well, let me go ahead and get into my thoughts. All righty. Ah. So, well, that was that was a good episode. Um, I like it. We got a little, a little more talking from both Callum and Rayla, not to each other, unfortunately, but at least kind of. Uh, at least Soren tried talking to Rayla, and then Ezrin talked to Callum. So, interesting that Callum was mainly feeling, like, upset and stuff over what happened to him and, um, Erevos. But I think what's interesting is how disconnected him and Rayla are, that Rayla couldn't really see that and isn't, like, like, she couldn't, like, she didn't ask him, like, you know, this isn't about me, is it? This is about what happened to you at the thing. Like, they're so, like, they've lost that connection where they, before they used to be able to really read each other and be able to tell, like, what was going on with each other. Um, whereas now they've been, I think, apart for so long. And especially now with their kind of disagreement fight, you know, what's going, what's happened after Rayla's come back. Um, like, she can't read him and tell that he's not mainly upset at her, right? At this moment, like, he feels weird. Um, like, he's, like, upset but very happy. But currently, he was just mainly, I think, disturbed or, you know, unnerved by what happened with Erebos. Um, and instead of really seeing that, she just thinks it's, oh, he's just upset at me kind of thing. How much longer is this going to go on for? I can't take it with these two. Being like this, I miss the goofy, like, oh, you know, um, uh, you know, Romeo, Juliet, like, oh, we're gonna be like this, and, uh, you know, forbidden romance and all this stuff. Like, the goof, the, the two goobers, right now they're being the two joy killers. <laughs> um, so I, I hope they talk soon. I, I, I feel like I honestly thought maybe either. Callum would get captured or Rayla would get captured and it would force one of them to kind of talk or something or open up more, you know, if they fear losing the other one. Um, but I don't think that's going to be the case since Soren's the one that's down there. Um, but I'm calling it for sure that Soren is going to befriend that dragon and get out of there. Hey, maybe they'll have a new dragon friend that'll uh, join them on their journey because Zim's not there anymore. Zim's with Mama. Um, also, this Sir Sparkle, uh, sort of sparkle puff is interesting. So it's just kind of like a, it, I mean, I think, didn't, uh, Claudia even say that's like a guide that's going to help them find his prison? 
So it makes sense that it's like trying to lead him to the dragon that knows um, the location of the prison. So uh, I really want to, I'm looking forward to seeing what this, uh, not Regum, um, Regis? Trolls, the earth, pretty much the earth dragon, the earth uh, arc dragon, what he looks like. Um, I wonder if we're going to even see him next episode. I feel like we might, I feel like it's going to go on a, leave on a cliffhanger next episode where it's going to be like, here he is. Ha, joke's on you. Find out next episode. <laughs> like it's going to be the journey of going through the Drake Woods on uh, the next episode and then it'll leave off with about to meet him. Um, but yeah, overall, I really like this episode. Uh, the only thing I don't like is my two babies. No. Being goobers together. Uh, but yeah, plot was great. Characters were great. Animation was great. Music. Actually, I didn't really notice too much with it when it comes to the music. <laughs> so I'm just saying the music was good. Uh, but anyway, those are my thoughts for it. I hope you enjoyed this reaction. Have a wonderful morning, afternoon, night, and keep bringing bright. See ya!